Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the esteemed FaceTime with Leaders, an initiative by World Development Corporation. I am Ajuna Sharawat, anchor at World Development Corporation. FaceTime with Leaders is a platform for industry titans to share their experiences, thoughts, ideas, and best practices in order to inspire one another and future leaders. In a nutshell, we attempt to encapsulate the multi-decadal learnings acquired by these industry leaders. We also hope that by conducting these interviews, we can bring together a global community of eminent personalities. By bringing together such visionaries on one platform, we hope to play a part in inspiring the lives of other leaders. Great learnings from great leaders undoubtedly assist everyone by identifying, nurturing, and using the trade secrets that are proven success formulae for many. And this is what we achieve with these sessions that are a gathering of industry stalwarts and a knowledge sharing community. We have one such industry heavyweight in our today's session of FaceTime with Leaders, Anuj Kulkarni. Having collated his skills in various industries, the maturity, of, the maturity of his skills can be seen in his core competencies, namely talent management, business facilitation with efficiency, organizational change management, and intrapreneurship. Currently employed as a leader development manager, Anuj has been building a center of competence on emerging learning technologies, building a learning engine for client healthcare platform, designing an accelerator program for promising healthcare startups, building digital learning capabilities in his industry. He has been continuing his professional development with certifications and educational upgrades and has earned numerous awards and recognitions. Welcome, Anuj, to FaceTime with Leaders. Uh, thanks, Ajuna. Thanks for the very introduction and uh, happy to be here and interacting with you. Our honor. Anuj, you have worked for various industries. What would you say was the reason for the changes between the industries? And we would love to know what were the common learnings? Uh, sure. So uh, as I rightly said, uh, I got opportunity to work in uh, diverse industries, you know, throughout uh, my career of about uh, 25 years now, right? Uh, mostly into the uh, IT and software, you know, world. But uh, later on, uh, you know, into oil and gas sector, as well as in uh, life sciences. And uh, recently, uh, as you pointed out, I am working in the uh, healthcare and medical devices uh, sector. So uh, if I to look at the uh, uh, common learnings across all these uh, different industries, one thing that uh, immediately you know, comes to mind is uh, all these industries are undergoing a massive transformation, right? Uh, and it is for good, right? So if I consider say oil and gas industry, right? So everyone is now uh, looking to you know, uh, transition into uh, renewable energy right, sector. And looking at even reducing the uh, you know carbon impact or carbon footprint, you know that's uh, there due to the uh, fossil fuels, right? If I talk about healthcare, again a similar story. You know uh, the pandemic has actually uh, you know given a boost to uh, you know innovation and changes in this industry. So for example, uh, we are looking at you know providing remote healthcare solutions you know, to uh, every human being, you know wherever they are, you know how remote they are in the world they should be getting uh, you know, the first healthcare service as and when needed, right? So if I look at the common things, uh, every industry is going through massive transformation and every industry is looking at uh, using technology you know, to uh, see how they can be more relevant and uh, you know, they can do better, uh, but at the same time, not uh, you know, uh, causing an environmental you know, uh, disaster. That's what I would say. Wonderful. And Anush, you have continuously worked towards your professional development. What kept you motivated towards this? Okay, so I would say uh, two two reasons. You know, one is uh, obviously uh, I built my career uh, initially into the uh, education and learning space, right? So uh, it's always good to you know practice what we preach, right? So not only help others 
you know, learn and uh, develop themselves. But we also as uh, professions of learning, you know, uh, do that for ourselves, right? Uh, by doing so, uh, and I always feel, you know, it's a lifelong, you know, learning journey, right? So even after having 25 plus years of experience, you know, I'm still learning new things, right? Uh, so that helps uh, in a couple of things. One is it helps you uh, navigate difficult waters, you know. So when, for example, uh, you're challenged on a particular project or you have a new project coming up in a particular industry, right? So if I am not developing myself, you know, it's difficult to step into uh, uh, such a, you know, new environment, right? And I have worked globally. It also adds up to, you know, how do you work with, uh, you know, diverse, uh, you know, set of people across different cultures, right? So by developing self in both, uh, you know, leadership as well as in technical skills, you know, uh, it uh, helps me stay relevant and, you know, uh, take up new challenges, right? Uh, the second part of it is obviously when you develop yourself, uh, people look up to you, you know, to uh, help them, you know, develop themselves. And in true sense, uh, by sharing uh, my own knowledge and experiences with others, you know, it expands my own horizon, right? And I also look for opportunities to learn from them, irrespective of, you know, their age, their experience and their background. You know, every human being, you know, brings some unique experiences and learning to life. And that uh, in a way helps me, you know, connect with them and uh, grow together. So I think that's what I say. That's what I have to say. Oh, very well said. We would also like to know what were some some of the most significant changes you brought about in your professional journey so far. I mean, uh, I would say uh, more than me bringing changes, uh, it is uh, the the environment you know that in a way has forced us to you know adopt new things and uh, you know make changes. But yes, having said that, uh, there are certain things that we have to do, right, individually, right? Otherwise, you know, we will not be part of that journey and we might, you know, fail in that entire journey. So a couple of things I have done. Uh, uh, one is, uh, you know, keeping myself uh, relevant, you know, in the context of that particular environment, right? So earlier, if you see uh, my early career, you know, was mostly into, uh, you know, um, the, uh, the manual, you know, the old ways of working, if I call it so. Uh, by keeping myself relevant and uh, adopt to you know things within a specific context, it has helped me uh, you know uh, adopt new technologies, new solutions, right? And also you know think differently, at being curious, thinking differently about what we can do and how we can do something better, right? As we progress, uh, both in our career as well as in our personal life. So I would say you know those two things. You have also worked for non-renewable sector. Mm -hmm. Did you get any opportunity to work towards sustainability? Uh, yes, uh, yes. Luckily, I would say yes. Right. Uh, Can you so, state some instances? Sure, sure. So uh, I can share two. In fact, you know? so one of them uh, was, uh, uh, you know, plastic has been considered, uh, you know, a threat, you know, uh, especially single-use plastic, right? But if you look at uh, across the industry. You know, which manufactures plastic or even uses plastic, both for commercial and personal use. You know, uh, plastic is not bad. You know, for for personal life, what is bad is uh, if you are not able to uh, recycle or reuse plastic. Uh, you know, in a in a better way. Right. So in my previous job, you know, we were able to install a a, a machine that would uh, you know take up plastic in any form and uh, convert that into more, uh, you know, reusable, uh, you know, uh, energy. So we also did a pilot. You know, so that was, that was a good, uh, you know, experience. The second is more personal, which is, uh, you know, uh, using the waste, you know, that we generate at home or in societies, you know, and uh, using it uh, for better, you know, in the gardens or, you know, doing the plantation phase. Right? So those two are something that, uh, although I spent a uh, lot of time in, uh, non renewable energy sector. You know, these are two instances wherein, you know, I uh, have looked at uh, how we can do better. You know? And the mantra always says, you know, always uh, look at reducing, reusing or recycling, you know, any, any source of material. So uh, that, that's it, I would say. 
Now coming to the technological implementations, mm -hmm. what changes with technological implementations have you seen in your professional life? And what changes do you foresee with the implementations, IoT, AI, ML, blockchain, etc.? Mm -hmm. So I would say many, many changes because uh, I have been in touch with technology since the early 90s, you know, and if you look at the entire journey of how technology has transformed, you know, our lives, you know, businesses, our work, you know, so there are a couple of things that I can say, you know, one is uh, technology has helped us uh, bring uh, innovative solutions, you know, to, to uh, every individual on the planet. For example, uh, with, uh, with technology, you know, we are able to bring uh, uh, remote patient care, you know, in the healthcare industry. So earlier, if you have to really get any treatment or any advice, you know, you have to visit, uh, you know, a doctor, right? Either in a clinic or in a hospital. Now it is possible to, you know, get that uh, consult, consulting, you know, uh, through a video call, you know, or, you know, other mediums. It has also helped, uh, you know, doctors uh, uh, get more data or information about the health parameters of a patient, right? And has helped them in making better decisions, right? Some of them are reactive, but some also help in proactive, you know, care. So I think that would be one example. With the new technologies, uh, I mean, the opportunities are endless, I would say, right? So if I uh, talk about AI, so I actually worked on a project uh, where we, in life sciences, where we used AI to, uh, you know, uh, uh, filter and find, uh, you know, cells uh, which are used for uh, developing medicines, right, in the B2B sector, right? So without AI, that process would have taken uh, weeks or even months, you know, for the researchers to, uh, you know, uh, filter and identify cells for uh, medicine. With AI usage, you know, we are able to bring it down to just a couple of days, right? So that is one example. Uh, Second is through uh, AI and IoT solutions. You know, we are able to uh, bring uh, you know, a lot of uh, this uh, new devices, uh, you know, uh, closer to uh, you know the the end user. Right. Uh, for example, if you look at the smartphone, right. So earlier, a lot of things were done, uh, you know, using uh, devices which were not smart or you know not accessible to everyone. But through the usage of a, a device like a smartphone. You know, all these technologies can be leveraged at the fingertip. Right? If you see some uh, recent uh, developments, you know, in AI, you know, the uh, you know the Chat GPT or you know other AI solutions, you know, they are making information available to our fingertips. Right? So no more search you know, is required. You ask a question and you get uh, responses from the you know that particular solution. So in that sense, yes, uh, it's transformative, and it's going to help uh, you know across industries to bring uh, new solutions to uh, the, the end user, everyone being, I would say, on the planet. Anut, since you are an ESG certified corporate governance expert, what values do you offer to the corporate world? Yes, uh, a lot of them, I would say. So first is, uh, you know, as an ESG expert, I would say uh, it's important to, uh, you know, create awareness, uh, you know, on why why bring ESG you know into into the corporate governance world right uh, it is important that uh, every organization you know and uh, every management you know thinks about uh, sustainable businesses right what I mean by that is uh, whatever solutions or products you are creating uh, look at ways to make them environment friendly right look at ways to uh, make them socially relevant you know? and also look at ways you know in which uh, uh, they are governed, you know, well by a particular industry body, right? Because there are experts, you know, in each industry and they really help you, you know, bring in uh, good products and services to the market. And at the same time also remain profitable and, you know, grow uh, in the years to come. So it's important to, you know, create awareness and also, uh, you know, share success stories of, uh, you know, how ESG is helping organizations, you know, uh, grow exponentially and as well as be profitable, right? Without, uh, you know, putting a lot of burden on the earth, our planet, the only planet where we are living. Right. Yeah. That's oh, yeah. so important. 
Anuj, as you're aware, we are building the industry magnets community for cross-pollination of knowledge and a mm -hmm. community of independent directors for having a better corporate governance in the country. What are your thoughts about these initiatives taken by Mr. Zishan Pathan, Mr. Hewal Mehta, and the whole World Development Corporation team? Yeah, first of all, I want to thank all of them, right, particular WDC team, to create such a unique platform, you know, that brings uh, experts, you know, and individuals together, you know, such a massive community that we are able to build. Right? What it does is uh, it helps in uh, continuous development. You know, so today I might be an EAC expert. You know, I might know a few people. You know, in the industry, but by creating this community or uh, providing a platform, you know, we are able to bring global, you know, experts from all over the world. You know, under one umbrella, right? And not only do that but also, uh, you know, learn on a continuous basis, right? So today I might know certain things about ESG or corporate governance. With so many changes happening, you know, in, in these areas, it is important for me to also stay up to date, right? So WDC through this community, you know, is helping us, uh, you know, learn new things, you know, network with, you know, like-minded people, right? And also help us grow, you know, our individual as well as professional, uh, you know, uh, uh, the professional skills, I would say, that we need to do. So yeah, once again, thanks to everyone, and thanks to WDC for you know having this community. I feel honored, you know, to be amongst these experts and you know uh, missionaries who are there. You know, and uh, I expect that you know I continue doing that and bring in more people to this community. Thank you for your motivating feedback. Yes. And that was a very valuable conversation with you, and I'm confident that your insights will inspire the future leaders. Thank you, Anuj, for joining us today on FaceTime with Leaders. Yeah. Thanks, Wish Ajuna. you the very best. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Wish you the best for your future endeavors. Yes, thank you. Moreover, trust that this initiative by Directors Institute unquestionably expanded the participants' understanding and enriched their minds.